Hello friends, this is a bamboo mobility routine to help with your overall joint strength. Let's start off with 10 shoulder flosses. Make sure that when you do this exercise, you are standing nice and tall. Your hands can go as wide as possible to the point where your arms can go up and down while maintaining stiffness and straightness. You might have to go really wide to allow those arms to floss all the way up and over behind your head down to your back. Make sure you breathe. Nice. 10 standing twists. You're going to be focusing on that hip rotation, so make sure that you twist by turning your belly button left to right or east to west, allowing your rotation to come from the toes up to the ankles, knees, and hips. 10 tall spine bows. Connect your lower back your mid back and your head to the stick as you take those bows. You can have a bend of your knee, as you can see, but make sure that the stick doesn't come off of your tailbone, off of your upper back or your head. Keep all those three points touching. Again, bending those knees if you're rounding through the lower back. It'll help you flatten your pelvis, stay on the stick. Great stretch for your hamstrings. All right, 10 low to high swings. See how I position my hand. One hand is open, so that's the left hand, and the right hand is down, closed, and I'm rotating low right, high left. Make sure you rotate through the hips, just like the previous rotation exercise. You're turning your belly button from one direction to the opposite. I want you to feel that stretch in that left arm. Now we switch, right arm is the dominant. You're holding the stick with your right palm up and your left palm down. And rotate like you're swinging a baseball bat. Take it nice and tall. Feeling that opening in the hips. Should feel really nice. Good work, everyone. Keep going. We've got a few more exercises to go. This is one of my favorites. It's the lunge, hip opener, and rotation. So you're gonna take your hand, hold up really high, and then lunge forward towards the stick so that your foot lands on the outside of the stick. Then you'll do a rotation turning away from the stick. As you can hear, I'm breathing through. I'm inhaling as I rotate open. Exhaling as I come back to center. Good work. Let's get through some side arcs. I'm gonna stand person with the way from the stick. My bottom hand is at hip height. My top hand is gonna side arc and reach right above so I can feel that stretch along my entire side body. The lats, the ribs, the hips. Feel really nice on the spine. The spine really likes this. Make sure you breathe. You inhale as you stand up. Exhale as you bend sideways. And take your time too. Find that you want to really enjoy that stretch. You can hold for a second or two and breathe through. Doing great. Just keep following along. All we need is 10 reps of each movement on each side if it's a two-sided movement. Make sure you focus on your breathing and really enjoying the stretch. All right, we're coming to a shoulder dip. Great for golfers, baseball players, and those with neck, shoulder, upper body tension. What I'm doing is I'm holding on. My top hand is just slightly above my head. My bottom hand is around shoulder height, so slightly lower than shoulder. My feet are parallel. I'm gonna dip my shoulder down. So the leg that's closer to the stick stays straight while the leg that's away from the stick bends. And I'm dropping my shoulder right down, down towards the ground in front of my toes. You're gonna feel this beautiful stretch along the shoulder blade 
all the way through the hamstring too. It's another fan favorite for those who play rotational sports. Strong grip and dip down. Start experimenting with the depth. You can hold your hands a little lower so that when you reach across, grab, and dip, you can dip a little lower. Then you can get a deeper stretch in the hamstrings with a stronger hinge. So the lower you go, the more you'll feel that flow, that stretch. I'm just enjoying every single stretch. Okay, we're going into 10 Ninja Makers. This is one where you have to put your palms as open and hands as wide as you can across the chest. You've seen that I biased the stick so there's less stick on the right side, right hand, so that I can just dig that stick down in front of the big toe and then shift away. My other hand is open so that the stick can come down towards my shoulder chest as I shift away from the anchor point. I'm going to want to feel that stretch in the groin, through the spine, all the way up the shoulder. This is definitely going to make you into a ninja. Notice while breathing, this is an intense stretch. I know you can feel it right now if you're doing it with me. So make sure again, you focus on your breathing. You can take breaks between the repetitions, I'm readjusting the bias of the stick so that I have more stick on one side and less stick on the other. The lower I reach my cross hand, so that's right now my left towards my right foot. And the further up I reach my right hand, the opposite hand, the bigger the stretch I'm gonna get. You can see my angles are symmetrical. That's what you want to achieve when you do this. So if you have a mirror in front of you, take a look once in a while and see if you're finding that symmetry. Big, big stretch. This is probably the biggest one, the one with the most bang for your buck stretch of all by stick mobility exercises. All right, nice work. Ooh, that was good. We're going to our last stretch in this mobility snack. It's a simple cross leg and sit. I'm using the stick as a uh, assist, something to help hold my balance. And I'm using my other hand to hold the ankle on top of my thigh. So all I'm doing is sitting back, hinging forward, getting that deep glute slash piriformis stretch. And also a little bit of a chest stretch too as I lean forward and Extend that arm above on the stick. Ten per side. Uh, just hitting a little bit of everything in this movement snack. I hope you can enjoy the background and the sound of the waves. Maybe some of the traffic of where I'm recording this voiceover. The sounds of Costa Rica, Puerto Viejo. Oh yeah, deep stretch. Feel free to hold the sit position if you're really in the zone with it. And that is it, my friend. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.